the ECAM system generates two types of oral warnings. These are non-specific, where the oral warning does not indicate what the exact failure is, and specific, where the pilot should be able to recognize the exact failure by its sound alone. We looked at the non-specific warnings, the master warnings, in the last lesson. The single chime and the continuous repetitive chime are non-specific because they do not indicate the actual malfunction, but only the level of seriousness of the malfunction. The other set of oral warnings are more specific. You must be able to recognize the warning by its sound alone, but there may also be lights or indications related to some of these oral warnings. Let's listen. These are the specific oral warnings available on this aircraft. Select each label to hear its associated warning as many times as you like. When you're ready, select the forward arrow to continue. Each of these warnings has its own sound, which you must be able to recognize. If you want to listen again, select the back arrow. The warning system control panel is located on the right-hand side of the pedestal just below the flaps and slats controls. As there are no push buttons associated with these oral warnings, this panel is used to control all specific oral warnings. Select the location of the panel for a closer look. As you can see, this panel provides the possibility to cancel audio warnings and to test the takeoff configuration. In previous lessons, we saw that selecting the illuminated master light acknowledges a non specific oral warning, a single chime, or a continuous repetitive chime, and if the continuous repetitive chime is sounding, it will be stopped. With specific oral warnings, you generally use the normal cancel push button to silence the audio and cancel the warning. All of these specific oral warnings can be cancelled by selecting the normal cancel push button. These warnings, however, require the pilot to take the corrective action. If necessary, the oral warning can be cancelled by using the emergency cancel push button. In the same way, these non-specific oral warnings can also be cancelled by corrective action or by the emergency cancel push button. Pressing the master warning push button will not cancel the continuous repetitive chime in this case. The emergency cancel push button is guarded and safety wired. In normal circumstances, it should never be used. It is used to cancel any warning when the noise in the cockpit is causing an operational nuisance and the normal cancel push button will not cancel the oral warning. The first thing to do to stop the warning is to perform the requested action. In this case, to decrease the aircraft speed then you would use the emergency cancel push button so that it's easier for you to talk with the pilot while the speed decreases. Cancel this warning now. No, first you need to break the wire and lift the emergency cancel cover. Try again. Now, with the cover up, select the emergency cancel push button 
to silence the oral warning. With the emergency cancel selected, the oral warning is cancelled. If this warning occurs again, the ECAM system will not show it. It is now inhibited. To cancel the master warning light, you need to select the push button. Now, the only way to release the ECAM inhibition of this warning is to select the recall push button on the ECAM control panel. You must select, then hold the recall push button for more than three seconds. That completes this lesson, except for the quiz.